Hey guys, I just wanted to come and uh, talk to you briefly about what you can expect collaborative planning and coaching to look like for this upcoming school year. Um, I'm going to give as many specifics as I have now, but also um, things may change as we know a lot of things change um, quickly and with little notice. But one of the things that you can expect this school year is for there still to be um, a weekly collaborative planning that is a synchronous meeting. Um, my own uh, personal health issues, as well as like COVID in general, will likely mean that we won't meet in person because I may not be able to return uh, to the building um, for the majority of school year 21-22, but we will have um, one meeting that happens synchronously weekly. Um, before that meeting, however, you will receive um, a video. It will be a recorded video of me either um, walking you through kind of the steps for some sort of academic reading that we'll be talking about or the steps um, to prepare some sort of data collection or something for our synchronous meeting that will happen later in the week. Um, and we're doing this for two reasons. Um, one is that there is kind of this district-wide expectation that teachers meet for 90 minutes of academic planning per week, but um, we have a really tight schedule at Waverly that works well for us. And we didn't want to throw not just one wrench, but a lot of wrenches <laughs> into the system by changing the bell schedule. Um, and we also thought that this would be a way to kind of allow you guys to do part of the academic planning at your own pace, kind of within your own schedule, um, and come to actual weekly planning meetings so that like you have a clear sense of what we're going to be doing. We have clear outcomes um, and we're all like ready to hit the ground running and make the most of our time together. You will also find for those of you who were able to participate in our last coaching cycle at the end of last school year that we will be doing what was put into place last year. Um, the district has partnered with an organization called Leading Educators um, to adopt some of their coaching uh, strategies and models. So the district um, is proceeding with the practice of offering schools um, a menu of options to choose from when deciding what focus to take for academic planning. Um, so we will maybe, um, maybe from K to eight, we'll all have like a similar focus. Um, last, the end of last school, you were talking about, you know, recognizing that like all every day, there are opportunities to like collect valuable data. And I also know from your guys' feedback that you really appreciated that everyone from K to eight was doing the same thing because it gave you the opportunity to meet with people who are in grade levels that you might never meet with before. Kindergarten and sixth grade teachers meeting and like, you know, having a common conversation because we're working on the same thing. Um, and it was also really um, apparent to people after those conversations, the way that wit and wisdom works and the way that uh, common core standards work in that they like the common core really just like builds off of one another. So what, you know, a kindergarten teacher is experiencing, a sixth grade teacher might have some actual like relevant um, feedback and vice versa because they're working on the same, you know, skills, the same um, things just with varying degrees of complexity and the same for wit and wisdom. Um, it was really helpful at the end of last year for teachers to realize that you know, the students at all grade levels at our school are all doing the same types of activities. So they were able to really like, teachers were really excited to be able to make the connection between like, okay, I am like gonna, I'm gonna make sure that my kids are really getting a lot of practice at effectively, um, you know, doing Socratic seminars because I know that after talking to the seventh grade teacher that that's something that um, they're struggling with there, just as an example. Um, so, we don't, at this point, we have not like found out or selected what our first focus is going to be. Um, I'll also, of course, look forward to asking and hopefully receiving your feedback about what some of the um, focuses that you want us to prioritize for this upcoming school year. Um, I anticipate being back at work at the beginning of September, so I 
hope to be able to reach out to you guys then with some more um, clear, uh, not only scheduling information, but also with um, the focus of our first round of coaching and um, academic planning. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.